Okay, so this is the all new Kindle 2022 edition. It's Amazon's most affordable e-reader. It has a very compact six inch screen with 300 PPI display, a glare free display. Okay, let's get in, get in the box. This is how it looks. Very small. This is compared to a normal AA battery. Let's see what we have in the box. So we have two pieces of paper with information. Nothing else is in the box except a charging cable. USB type A to USB type C and that's all you get in the box. So let's open it up. It is very small. As I said, it has a glare-free display with a 300 ppi. It is, of course, smaller than both the Kindle Paperwhite and the Kindle Oasis. Its current price from Amazon is just over $100, including shipping, and that is the price for the ad-free version. If you don't mind the ads, you can get it for $10 cheaper around, around that. So in the box, that's all you get. The design is very compact, perfect size to fit in a handbag, very comfortable to hold in your hand. You can wrap your hand around it. And it is very lightweight, weighs only 158 grams. It has some bezels, but I think that I prefer it because that way my fingers don't get on the screen. It doesn't have physical page turning buttons, it just has the power button and the charging port down here. I got the black version, but there is also a denim version. One more thing to take into consideration is that it is not water resistant. Okay, so let's power it on. This is the screen it comes with. It shows you where the power button is. Let's do it. I'm guessing you have to... Okay, now we can choose our language. Choose English. Hit next. Select your region. Next, now it's going through the initial setup. So let's set it up. You can set it up on the Kindle or using our phone. We're just going to set it up on this Kindle just to walk you through setting it up on the Kindle. So set up on this Kindle. So let's choose our internet connections. Okay, it recognized my account. All I need to, because I bought it from Amazon with my account. So I don't even need to input that account, but I can use a different account if I want to. Now all I have to do is enter the password from my Amazon account. If a child is going to be using the Kindle, you might want to choose kid-friendly. The nice thing about the Amazon e-readers is that it is connected to Goodreads, which is a review site. So you should always choose to log in with a Goodreads account. If you don't, you can just use your Amazon account. Now, this is just the introductory walkthrough. So this is your home screen and you have your own library here. This is how you access your quick settings. This is the brightness level. It doesn't have auto brightness. So you have to do it manually. There is a dark mode. There's an all settings button here. You can also get to settings by tapping these three buttons, going to Goodreads or just going to settings. If you wanna go back, just hit the X. There is no back button. So you always have to look on the page and see how you can go back. Now let's open up a book. It's going to get downloaded. It is a 16 gig model. Okay, it is downloaded. Now we can open it. Okay, so you can just swipe or tap to go forward and backwards. Top, top, to go to your quick settings. So you have to look for the back button if you wanna go back that button or if you want to change settings related to the book you're reading so that's the font you want to search for something if you want to bookmark something or if you want to go to a specific chapter if you want to take notes tap there if you want to go back just tap again if you want to go back to your main library at the back button you can also see the pages like that This is the way you can change the font size. So this is the size, boldness, and the font family. You can change different fonts. You can change the layout. You can change your theme. So this was just a quick walkthrough on how to just initially set it up and start reading because that's what it was meant. Okay, well, hope this helped. Bye.